Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. Sean coming at you from high level. So these are some awesome enhancements to the chat widget functionality. So a couple of things here. Um, let's dive in. We'll go through them all. So first up, uh, we are now supporting more fields in the contact form and handling better deletion operations for old chat sessions. Um, and we also have some substantial performance improvements. So we'll kind of walk through each of these one at a time. So first up, support for dropdown slash single custom fields in email, SMS, and WhatsApp chat widgets. So the chat widget now supports a dropdown custom field for better data collection and interaction in email, SMS, and WhatsApp communications. What the heck does that mean exactly? Let's take a look here at this screenshot. So basically what you can do is you can, when you're creating your and customizing your chat widget, you can actually choose a custom field. And like, for example, this one's type of service. So now when you add type of service, check it out. And you can now actually add that to the chat widget uh, form. So as I'm submitting the chat widget, you can capture that data, which you weren't able to do before. And obviously that's just sitting inside the same chat widget settings that you're used to seeing. So that's pretty easy and pretty self-explanatory. So go check that out. Um, this one's a little more um, behind the scenes here. So basically um, handling contact deletion during active and active old chat sessions. Previously when a sub account user deleted a conversation while there was an active or inactive or old live chat session, the end user was unable to continue the conversation due to the conversation ID being deleted. So the idea is I'm in the middle of a conversation with you. Maybe like I walk away from my desk and you decide, ah, that's it, Sean, I'm gonna delete you. Um, and then later on I come back and I'm like, hey, it's me again, I'm back. Uh, no, like I basically, uh, that conversation's gone, it doesn't work. So what we did is uh, we added it so that a contact is only deleted during an active, um, inactive or old session, a new conversation will be initiated. So if I come back, it'll basically restart and I'll still be there and I'll still be able to continue the conversation. So that is awesome. And then check this action out. Whoa, hello, uh, where did that screenshot go? There we go. Um, so on the, um, performance side, we've reduced the loader size, uh, and this is sort of techie stuff, but basically we've decreased it 26%, which is amazing. So this improvement not only speeds up load time, but also enhances security as the file is now minified and obfuscated and all that wonderful stuff. But it, the great thing is it's just a whole heck of a lot faster. And so what's cool about this is not only is it faster where we ran it through uh, like all the website checkers and stuff, it also passes all of those tests. So then all of your pages will automatically get uh, uh, a lot higher uh, page scores. And then again, finally, live chat widget load improvements. Uh, in the previous version, the widget displayed a white screen while fetching the old conversations. Now during the conversation, it has a loading indicator. So it looks a lot faster, is a lot faster. So just overall way better performance um, across the uh, board for the chat widget, plus the ability now to use one of the drop down fields. So anyways, on the note, I hope you're having an amazing Wednesday and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.